in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed let me share with you what God just showed me. This is an incredible vision. I just stood here now. You know how you open peanut or granite? You just open the shell. And God is telling me there are destinies that have been wrapped up by demonic altars. Listen, listen. Fire is about to fall on some people now. I want you to bring them out. Every destiny, I don't know by what demonic means, your glory was covered. But in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus, as you shout the name G there are ministries that will rise tonight there are visions that will rise tonight at the count of three shout Jesus please bring them out one two three I open up that close destiny I open up that close destiny I open up my God please help them I open up that close destiny right now be open be open be open please help them be open hallelujah now now is not the time for impartation but the Lord is asking me to pray for a gentleman. You don't have to come out so that you are not embarrassed. You were genuinely called into the prophetic. God has called you into the prophetic. But something happened one day. Now I don't, I don't speak evil against the body of Christ. But you were introduced to somebody who supposedly laid hands on you and gave you something. You know, maybe I don't know. I, I presume not intending for evil. But that thing connected you with familiar spirits. From that time, you started having very destructive visions and even torture for yourself. I don't know who that person is, whether you are inside or outside or online. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to minister your deliverance. Be set free now. I declare the purity of your mantle. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven. A woman, seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I know there are many people, but please, let's just work with instructions. Seven years. Who is that person? Seven years. Very quickly, I want to begin to pray for the sick. You are seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My God. God himself is bringing healing. I'm bringing deliverance healing and deliverance when you find that person please seven years where is that person come where are you from benway. Huh? Benway. benway state come stand here how many years seven yes where is your husband he's not here he's not here Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the power of God. Once you can believe, look at this woman, seven years. Now, many married women, many married women will tell you of the kinds of things that happen in Africa. There are people when they get married, three months is enough, everybody's looking at you. Saying, what, are, nothing is happening, are you all right? Three months. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be silent, let her go. Now! M my, um, madam, look at me. I'm going to pray for all of you, but lay your hands. 
I want you to know that the power of God is able to set you free. I know that women will still disobey, but no problem, just let them come. Place your hand in your stomach. There is grace for fruitfulness in this house, so let me tell you the truth. I'm about to pray. Most barrenness issues are demonic. You know that by now. Let me pray for you now. I will use you, Madam, from Benue as a point of contact. I'm praying for her, but I'm seeing someone else under the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit. Now, let them go. I command that spirit out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit responsible for barrenness. I'm seeing something like a rope being removed from one of your wombs. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus. I remove it right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy to you. According to the time of life. Return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. There is a woman you are watching from Ghana. You are sitting in your living room. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for four years. You are seated right now with someone. I don't know if it's your sisters. You are following this program. In the name of Jesus, go and write it. God will give you a baby boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be offended and I don't want you to come out. But there is a woman, you see, I don't believe in the ministry of condemnation. We help by the spirit. But there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness. You again went somewhere and it's not like you were, you were even uncomfortable. But they took you somewhere where somebody would supposedly maybe do something to help you. And from that time, it has been affecting you. You have been bleeding. This, has, this is a demonic thing wherever that person is in the name of Jesus we dissociate you from those demonic things we dissociate you from those demonic things hallelujah Jennifer I'm hearing a name Jennifer and the Lord is telling me it has come to an end help them please it has come to an end this is what I'm hearing in my spirit it has come to an end Jennifer the word Jennifer that's what I'm hearing I'm about to pray it has come to an end I stretch my hands right now I don't know what it is but in the name of Jesus Christ Jennifer let it come to an end now 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit now it comes to an end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I'm speaking under the unction of the Spirit I say it again it comes to an end There is a family right now God is delivering. Marriage does not work in that family. No matter, even if you marry, you must return back to your husband's house. I just saw light. I don't know where that family is, whether you are inside or outside. But the power that has tied down. The power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family. I lose that family now. Hallelujah. I lose that family now. Now, Azaria family is also following. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them. But I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle.
that is coming on someone for strange restoration please hear me please hear me please hear me please hear me i'm about to pray that power will come upon you this is between now and 15th of december you will come and testify in the name of jesus receive that anointing right now receive that grace right now help them please help them please help them receive that grace right now between now and 15th of december i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead restore 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 in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing a word for someone the trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of god now if not i'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month this is a career person antagonisms around your office and with what i'm seeing is like a query later and i'm seeing something that is making you lose your job in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but i'm speaking to you by god who is the helper of men i turn things around for your favor i turn things around for your favor the lord is showing me i'm seeing a family you are watching from national hospital national hospital here in abuja you are at the sick bed with somebody a patient and i'm seeing you are watching someone is watching the video when it's time to pray for the sick i want your heart to be open the lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are he is able to touch you by his spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there are 11 people here please listen 11 people you are in business the grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship you are already in business that anointing is coming on you in three months three months from today the way god will shift you it will surprise you 11 people 11 people i stretch my hands right now 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now May that anointing rest upon you now. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name. This is a Hausa name. Hafsatu. Is it Hafsatu? Hafsatu. Who is that? What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jehovah's State. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Lift your hands. hear me there is the grace of Deborah upon you God is going to raise you as a warrior even for your family listen carefully I want you to take some time maybe a day or two or three and just fast and pray and ask the Lord to direct you don't be careless about your life there is the grace that was upon Deborah upon you I stretch my hands for you and I pray for the remaining, I, I don't know why they are out, but may, probably their names or their loved ones. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bring the gentleman that shouts right now under the anointing. I want to talk to him. There is a gentleman, there is a strong anointing. Not a lady, a gentleman. If you can please this gentleman is wearing white this is what I'm seeing in my vision when the power of God comes on him let me know please bring him let's hurry up I want to pray for the sick 
Ala shada katosa brandege para hausia. Shalaga de brandege diase. There is a man of God here. Please hear me. There's a man of God here. You are in the overflow. You are not outside. You are in the overflow, not the basement. You know, one of the overflows here. You came with a hunger for your ministry because things have not been working. As I'm speaking right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Your one prayer request is not even for yourself. You are saying, Lord, I have done my best. I don't want to compromise, but truly, the ministry is not working. In the name that is above all names, I declare that an unction comes upon you right now. Is this the gentleman? Father, leave him. Okay, he can stand. Stand, my friend. Where are you from? Huh? Cross River State. Cross River. Yes, I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing captivity to end in your family. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I teach for it. I'm seeing you in prison. I have to pray for you. Don't be, don't feel bad, eh? I'm not, I'm here to help you. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing something happening and I'm seeing you in the court and from court, they are locking you in the prison. This has to do with people's money. You need to be careful. You need to seek advice. You are already in trouble now as you are standing. It's not even like you are free. It's just that it's going to be more trouble that will land you in prison. You need help, eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that wants to put this gentleman in trouble, I decree and declare, be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. But that's not even why I ask you to come out. The Lord is going to use you to really deliver your family. You believe that? Yes, I stretch my hands over you and I pray in the name of Jesus, may that grace of a deliverer rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a woman, a strong anointing coming on you. You own a restaurant. A restaurant. This is food business. And I'm seeing the grace of God. Parashadika Lagatebe Regatas. It's going to be a new season. God is opening very strange doors. You will be surprised to see the kind of clientele that God connects you with. This will happen by the Spirit. I'm declaring it unto you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a woman. You are not, you are not young. You are, you are quite an elderly woman. God has granted you grace right from when you were young. The grace to have prophetic dreams. Many things that are happening in Nigeria today, God showed you in dreams. It's just that you did not know that this thing is a call upon your life. I don't know who that person is, but God is speaking to me that I should talk to you. Whether you are following online or you are listening, God is saying I should tell you to take the time to pray and ask the Lord to find the calls of that prophetic dimension of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is asking me to count the number seven and people are going to start running out from all the auditorium and the overflows by the Spirit. It is a strong grace for speed, an antidote to delay. I begin my counting, bring them out. One, my goodness. Two, you will be surprised. Some of you, you do not even think you will be the people. Three. Four, I'm counting seven. That's what God is telling me. Five, get ready now. Six, my goodness. May that grace for speed that swallows up delay. Are you ready? Seven, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Speed, speed, speed. Every delay, every stagnation. Speed over your life. 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 I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been drawn into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been drawn into the sea. 
this is a word for someone remember ye not the former things madam whose cap are you lifting come you will not die where is he I'm seeing that the man is in this place oh yes, is he here, here? come here. don't be embarrassed sir please come is he here I just want to speak over his life God bless you sir thank you we're honored to have you and thank God for your wife I just want to speak a word over your life in the name of Jesus for you and your wife sir the fullness of your days you will fulfill Amen. you will not die not in battle not by conspiracy Amen. who is with that crutch you my dear look at me in the name of Jesus walk lift it up walk Who is lifting it up? Help them, please. Mama, in the name of Jesus, walk. she came mama look at me you believe in Jesus how long has this been how long has this been For more, than eight years now. more than 30 years eight, eight, eight. mama look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I bring life to you Amen. by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead Amen. life to you Amen. come follow me Just careful with her, come. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Careful, careful. I decree and declare that this situation, this demonic thing comes to an end now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now everyone who is on a crutch or holding an, a chair or a stretcher, every inability to walk, whether you are here, or in all the overflows or outside in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I speak over you now by the power that raised Christ from the dead let life come to you begin to walk now begin to walk now if you could not walk stand up and try walking now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is healing peptic ulcer. I'm seeing someone you've suffered is, is acute ulcer, severe pain, severe pain, especially around your chest. In the name that is above all names, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's a symptom of something but I'm seeing someone your hair is falling off your hair you are a lady your hair is falling off I don't know if it's as a result of any medical procedure or whatever it is but you are losing your hair and God wants me to pray for you right now you are losing your hair who is that person I want to pray for you I'm going to pray this is a demonic thing this for one of you this has nothing to do with medicine this is a demonic issue I stretch my hands right now for the head the, the woman's hair is a glory the Bible says I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus every altar that is responsible for this I curse it right now in the name of Jesus I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, 
I don't know at what age hair grows or doesn't grow. That is none of my business. I prophesy a restoration of your hair as a sign that God is restoring your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again that every altar, every altar, I'm hearing a name, Kaza Chat, Kaza Chat. I presume this is a Kaduna name, Kaza Chat. This is what I'm hearing. Whether you are here, whether you are in Zari, I'm hearing the name Kaza Chat. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord wants to avert the spirit of death from the family of Kaza Chat. If I didn't pronounce it well, my apologies. I'm only speaking as I heard. Kaza Chat. I use this name as a point of contact. Any family here that the devil is already programming death from now that you will not enter 2023 in the name of Jesus. I command those altars judge now. Shout a loud amen. Those altars judge now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a gentleman God is showing me here. You started applying for jobs since 2017. Till now you have not gotten anything. You are a gentleman. You have applied, applied, you applied in Abuja, you applied in Lagos, you applied online. You've done everything. You have even prayed and fasted. And it looks like the doors of jobs will not be open. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, this year will not be over before you get your job. I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the living God. There are two people right now who will start laughing by the Spirit. I want you to bring them out. I'm going to pray for the sick now. This is, this is, this is, I've explained it to you here. It's a ministry of signs and wonders. It happens by the Spirit. The Bible says the shouts of joy and rejoicing shall not depart out of the tent of the righteous. It's not just about laughing, gibberish, and misbehaving. No. This is when God gives this. This is a note of victory in the realm of the Spirit. It is a token for establishing something prophetically. I declare it right now by the Spirit of the living God. That laughter is not a laughter unto shame. Sarah laughed and said, all who hear this will laugh with me. I am saying it to you again in the name of Jesus. I'm using them as a point of contact. Everything that has brought prolonged tears and sorrow, hear me, prolonged tears and sorrow over any family here. I'm speaking to you, step into your season of laughter. Step into your season of laughter. rejected visa three times three times I can imagine that you know several people want to leave Nigeria so there are many people who have been rejected even ten times but this is particularly this is someone you have been rejected visa three times this is um, I'm seeing UK then America you've been rejected three times it's not just about visa but God wants to visit you and to pray for you we may not have the time to ask you to come out. There's, there's no point feeling embarrassed. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. The Lord is showing me a woman here. Um, don't feel bad. And I'm not... People have a right to live whatever they want to live. But we are speaking within the confines of scripture. You have a son. This boy has gone abroad. And he has become, what they call it, transgender. These guys that turn and become like women. That's what I'm seeing. This is, I don't know who that, but this thing has brought pain for the woman. She has been crying right now to say, a son that I'm depending on and he's gone abroad and a wrong, um, you know, a group of people influences across his life and it looks like he has become something else. Can I pray for all our loved ones who are outside this nation? Can I speak a word? You see, let me tell you, please look up. Um, whether you are a parent, whether you are a guardian, or anyone who is involved in raising someone, the greatest reward you can give anybody for investing in you is a responsible life. First, your spiritual responsibility, and then number two, responsibility in terms of purpose. Hallelujah. It is a very painful thing 
trust me by the privilege of God's grace I have been behind the rising of several people I have raised people from primary school to university so I, I have an idea of the pain of investing in someone and then the person does not become anything in the name of Jesus let me start with anyone here who is directly involved in raising someone you will not raise trouble shout a loud amen you will not raise trouble you will not invest your money your time your credibility on someone who will bring shame and reproach for you then we pray for all our children who are in diaspora Europe America across the seven continents may the hand of God preserve them from the decadence of the times in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing a gentle man I'm seeing his mother ask him to watch this program and he's reluctantly watching from UK this boy has mental health what he was diagnosed in the hospital and they said he has a mental health issue in the name of Jesus Christ as a sign that your mother did not just ask you to watch but is the Holy Spirit who led her and that is also a sign that Jesus is looking for you he wants to make meaning out of your life I declare be healed from this mental health condition in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray for the sick now my head thou was exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. the Lord just showed me someone I just saw in a vision I believe this is literal I'm seeing you receive an award I don't know if it's an award for what but this is your organization honoring you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but I prophesy that as God has revealed so let it be as God has revealed so let it be as God has revealed so let it be in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me we're going to pray for the sick by reason of this work you see the apostolic ministry will expose you to the pain of people many of you here are men of God and women of God and you understand what this means I have wept at people's um, funerals I have stood before dead bodies I have seen families cry I know the value and the power of introducing the healing anointing to a body that is sick and a body that is ailing some of you here right now you came here literally with death sentences you came here with all kinds of situations we are going to pray right now and whether you are in the main auditorium outside all of the overflows down to the basement or following by way of television or internet I want you to know that Jesus heals and he's about to touch you now some of you whilst you came out under the anointing many miracles have been happening to you this is what I want you to do you're going to lay your hands this moment lay your hands on any part of your body where you believe God for healing and then you can also stand in for a loved one a friend someone you are trusting God for a miracle for if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a um, point of contact I have seen the miracle working power of God is not something I should be saying at this time but I can tell you I know that Jesus heals I have seen God do phenomenal miracles and even tonight and even right now he is going to honor Jesus once again the Holy Spirit that is his assignment yours is to receive by faith take your eyes away from the sickness or infirmity those of you who are falling from hospitals you cannot imagine and by the way may God do you know that there are hospitals that literally the people get screens and put services like this just for their patients especially hospitals that are pro-faith what a what a profound contribution to their health and wellness and what an honor the Lord gives us to come into those hospitals and to come to minister to their patients I have told you that I am a firm believer in the power of medicine and doctors I'm surrounded by and with doctors medical practitioners I'm not one person who throw 
doctors have contributed immensely to my life and my health they have supervised my well-being they have been there for me and I'm indebted to them but listen let me tell you there are situations that define medicine there are situations and I, 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 I thank the Lord for the partnership between vessels of honor and power and medical practitioners is is a very pro kingdom alliance that many doctors are not only carrying the healing anointing right now themselves but they have understood they have discerned that they can see a situation and say listen in addition to my practice my professional practice i acknowledge that you need the power of god hallelujah the same way even as men of god we pray for people and we also refer them to doctors i have gone to hospitals to see people and pray for them and you know it, it should work that way the most important component the similarity between doctors and those who heal by faith is love once there is love the most important thing is provided is not an antichrist pathway once it leads to the healing and the wholeness of that person it must be altogether embraced gone are the days where men of god talk against doctors and doctors talk against men of god and two of them are loggerheads one thing has brought us together love that we are more interested in the the well-being of that individual than our individual uh, whatever it is hallelujah and so we're praying right now and when i pray for you some of you may need to quickly go to a medical stand to ask them check you and verify every and any medical condition is healable tonight i want your heart to be open and to receive now here's what we're going to do very quickly the moment i pray for you the power of god will touch you you don't have to bring those under the anointing out again just manage them so they don't injure themselves and then very quickly i'm going to ask you to come and stand here for those who have been healed and will take a few testimonies while that is happening at the same time may i request all um the prayer requests those of you who are yet to submit your prayer request please wave it because this is a very major um, expression of your desires hallelujah lay your hands now and let's pray lay your hands everywhere inside outside the tens of thousands of people who are following online across the nations of the earth Jesus comes to you now with his healing power I want you to shout a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil behind infirmities. In the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit to give way now. I command that spirit to give way now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be healed now. Be healed now. Outside, be healed now. All the overflows, be healed now. The main auditorium, be healed now. Azaria family be healed now a global family connecting be healed now now it does not matter what is wrong with you I minister the life and the power of Jesus I declare healing for you right now high blood pressure go down now low blood, pre low blood pressure come up now diabetes be healed now ulcers be healed now blood conditions of all sorts be cleansed and corrected now migraine headache be healed now bone conditions be healed now Neurological conditions be healed now. Psychosomatic conditions be healed now. Growths of all kinds be healed now.
anybody having a troubling genotype we change your genotype right now there's someone i'm seeing that you have severe pain in your right eye severe pain i don't know if you see or you don't see but severe pain in your right eye be healed now in the name of jesus christ the lord don't be embarrassed this is why it is the house of god and you don't have to come out i'm only praying for you i'm seeing a gentleman here you don't even know what is wrong with you but what is wrong with you is an std you need help we are praying for you but please you need to go and see the doctor this is this is a a urinary you know um something that has to do with your reproductive organ you need help very quickly because if this thing is not arrested and managed it has been there for a long time you just have been careless and negligent may the lord show you mercy right now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me someone who has just been healed from pile very painful condition of pile in the name of jesus i establish your healing right now prayed for this kind of situation before I've seen it many times in my vision where a woman is not with child yet she's lactating I don't know the name of the medical condition where a woman does not have a child there's no baby but she's producing breast milk and this has become a serious inconvenience with a lot of pain in the name of Jesus Christ I declare normalcy to your body right now The Lord is healing someone you have a liver problem I don't know if you are here or a patient you have your problem is with your liver this is like you are literally dying in the name of Jesus be healed right now we pray for cancer patients can we agree and pray for cancer patients Lord preserve their lives preserve their lives preserve their lives preserve their lives I don't know which general hospital is this, but I have seen someone who is in coma. The person has been in coma since last month. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we call the person back to life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman you've been having again. I advise you that even though we we'll pray right now, but please see a doctor. You've been having unusual heartbeat, like your heart, your heartbeat, your heart rate is not beating normally. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, my apologies, but this is a serious cardiovascular issue. You need to see a doctor to attend to you immediately or at least maybe at the back or you will lie down and sometimes you literally gasp for breath. It's not COVID. This is something that I'm seeing. You are having a problem with your heart. In the name of Jesus, by the mercies of God, anyone having breathing problems, breathing issues, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Even though I'm praying for sick people, but I'm praying for a woman who is always seeing dead people in her dreams always as this is not once in a while as soon as you lie down you must always see at least one dead face the spirit of death over you that wants to swallow you up using sickness i declare be free from it right now be free from it right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you have a swelling here just this part that i'm touching just near your armpit area it looks like it's, it's from within and this is something that is, is hard. I command healing for you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We're going to do this very quickly right now. Outside the main auditorium, across the balcony, 
all of the overflows I want you to check yourself as an act of faith it is important it is always important to testify when you see God touch you testimonies preserve your miracles I want you to check yourself right now the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you be very bold I want you to get up and make your way to the front check yourself do what you couldn't do before for those who were under the anointing and then you got up and found out there's been a relief right now make that happen quickly and while that is happening the prayer request please wave your prayer request if you are yet to drop it and the ushers will pick it let's celebrate those who are coming out for miracles especially for those outside those outside please allow them come very quickly let's celebrate them while that is happening please make sure that you have your prayer request hallelujah are you celebrating those who are coming out check yourself do what you couldn't do don't sit back check yourself all the overflows make your way to the front right now in the name of Jesus confirm your healing don't allow the devil send you back with any infirmity check yourself very quickly you can go to the medical stand if you need to you check yourself there's there's someone you came here with severe pain at the right side right side of your neck I don't know what that condition is but right now this moment it's gone completely and then there is someone in I think the basement now the overflow in the basement you came here with severe abdominal pain but right now the power of God is touching you check it very very quickly and when we have those people let's have a few of them out to come and testify to the glory and the name of the Lord and for those who are coming ushers please lead them correctly so that we have them you can distribute them across here with Pastor Jakes and then um, Benga and his team there very quickly so that we can have a few of the testimonies the Lord is healing a little baby I'm seeing the Lord touch a little baby I don't know whose child that is but this is a medical condition um, with that little child that little baby I don't know what that is now um is it a breathing problem or a blood a circulation problem in the name of jesus christ let that baby right now this moment let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ and i'm hearing the name jephthah i'm hearing the name jephthah this is who is jephthah where are you coming from Huh? come I, I, I'm not hearing you just let's just take even if it's just three three very quickly are you coming from the east yes sir where Imo State. can I pray for you yes, sir. what do you do sir um, currently I am, I'm just freelancing nothing really tangible for now I want to pray for you because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something just sit on your destiny and it's not only your destiny even your family members and even though I've ministered for people I had the name Jephthah you understand can I pray for you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jephthah you came all the way from the east I use you as a point of contact to pray for all your family members in the name of Jesus I speak to you prophetically rise from tonight rise to a new dimension I lose you from every chain and I take away every weight upon your shoulder. Go and prosper. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. God bless you. Can we have a few testimonies? Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Praise Apostle, the name of God. Yes. She had an accident. In Walk the with them, eh? Walk with the protocol. Don't yes. be stubborn, my friend. Huh? We don't I do that. Hold on, hold on, darling. This is the house of God. You don't just walk walk don't let them have to you know will you some of these things people do wait the house of god is a place of discipline and order are we together you don't just walk and come to the pulpit if you have a testimony be patient they'll allow you to share it huh go ahead my dear yes sir, sir she's so shocked what happened I, I, your name and your testimony very quickly my name is Leslie. help us with the sound gentlemen i had an accident in zaria since march and i couldn't touch this shoulder you couldn't touch this yes. shoulder for how long since march yes and right now touch it uh, that is how your hand will reach your blessings in the name of jesus i decree and declare that healing is permanent in your life in jesus name i pray let's celebrate jesus yes please very quickly so, Apostle, we have another testimony. yes 
I'm Chalna Denjuma. Yes. I have a small ball in my eye, my right eye. Yes. It's like a stone in my eye. But when I check the mirror, I noticed that it's something that swell up here. Yes. But when I came here, it was a bit pain in me. But when you mentioned the case, I can't feel it again. Completely. I can't Come on now. Are you giving Jesus praise? Just like that. Yes, please. My name is Ulubodola Mides TV. Before I can fast three days dry fasting. But since the beginning of this year, if I'm trying to fast, I begin to feel headache and my body begin to hurt. But now as you were praying, I'm even feeling the headache, but as you the dad, daddy was praying, I lay my hands on my head and my stomach. I couldn't fan the headache and the stomach. Completely. Yes, In the name of Jesus, you are free from this demonic thing. Go and serve the Lord acceptably. So In Apostle, Jesus' name. Yes, similar sir. Similar testimonies, they were all having pains. Pains. Praise the Lord. My name is Chine Chenem Nemeka. I have I came here with chest pain and stomach, stomach issue. Okay. So minister, someone that have chest pain. Right now he's gone. I, I can't pay and and same thing with you, my friend. Pain. Pain at the neck. For how long? This morning. Sir. This morning. Yes. In Jesus' name, you're both free, free forever. Let's hear the testimony of the little one. My God. Can you imagine? Okay. I just got confirmation that she was. I talk love herself. children. Oh. My name is Ferami. I want to testify that my head was paining me. Now it's gone. Oh dear. Look at this. Celebrate Koinonia children. Oh. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Immediately that it prophesied about the ulcer, I immediately I just said amen. I felt I kept on having acid reflux for over five minutes. I even my neighbor noticed me. It didn't start to like all the gas in me that has been giving me this constant acid reflux. All of them just came out completely. Came out completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Let's hear Mama's testimony. Speak Good anything, Mama. English, house, whatever. Just speak. Okay. As you are praying, I, I cannot walk. I cannot stand. But after the prayer, I now get strength. Walk, Mama. For 15 years. For 15 years. I have not been working. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, dear. 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen. God is great. God is great, Mama. Is great. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Meduguri. All the way from Meduguri. I have been coming, but I could not see you. It is today that Jesus said, I must see you. Go back and tell Meduguri people that we love them and that Jesus still heals. Let's celebrate. Go ahead and walk, Mama. 15 years. 16. I even leave my job because of the sickness. You know, federal work, every time they report here and there, I now drop my job. Because I prophesy, may God restore. Listen, I'm speaking to her prophetically. The backlog of the honor, the grace, and everything that should have come to you. God who healed you right now will declare restoration. Please walk back to your seat with joy. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. 15 years. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Let's have from this end. Go ahead, very quickly. Apostle said there are several neck pain. She had had pain in her back for the past two years. But as she prayed, she said she couldn't stand for long. But now she could stand. The pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, I decree neck and declare pain. for all of you together who have neck problems, we do not take for granted the workings of God in your life. Be healed right now. I declare your testimonies perfected by the power of God. Yes, please. You gave a word of knowledge about a man with a chronic pile. Pile? So pile. He has had it for like three weeks. So when you gave that word, he quickly went to the confidence to check himself, trying to ease himself, but nothing was coming out. He's perfectly whole. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. She had obliquity surgery, February, which has created difficulty in her You had surgery. Without... When? In May. Where? Umbilical hernia, okay. just close to my navel. Yes. So after the surgery, after some time, I started feeling pains. I cannot sit down for long. I cannot bend down for long. But right uh, what now, happened? Bend down now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, don't get used to miracles. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, let's have one more. 
Okay, yes, sir. So you gave a prophetic word, the word of knowledge. Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord. Um, I used to have a protruding at the right side of my back. It's been there for years. My spinal cord is in an S shape. But Your spinal cord? It's in an S shape since birth. But when pastor decreed, it's no longer there. Completely, it's gone. What couldn't you do? Look at me, my dear. What couldn't you do before? When I came in today, my back, I couldn't even sit properly on the chair. Go and sit on that chair now. Go ahead. Sit near pastor. Let's see. Any pain? Look at this. Please stand up. Hallelujah. S-shape. You see, these are the various demonic things that we have in our world. How is someone's back um, spine as shape I don't even, how does that rest now you see how wicked the devil is he doesn't choose whether you are Igbo Yoruba Hausa whether you are young or old my dear in the name of Jesus your healing is permanent you go back and tell everyone who knew you that Jesus still heals in Jesus name I pray amen yes sir hey, my name is Iken so anytime I want to reach, as in to pick up a book to reach, immediately yes. I'll start having severe head, headache, as in... And what happened to you now? Just now, it disappeared. Completely. Even I was inside, it's In the name of Jesus Christ, Ikenna, it will never return to you again. Amen. You are healed, healed forever in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. please. So, Apostle, an interesting testimony. I had to ask him again. <laughs> okay. What happened to you? Okay, I, I had a dream. You had a dream? Yes, sir. When, Straight to the point. Okay, um, it was like peak pig was feeding seven children then the next thing i had like um sparkling in this leg since then the leg was feeling it was even swelling but when you talk so sorry sir so he came in here with a swollen leg oh you came in here with, with a, swollen a swollen leg, leg. since you had the dream about the pig yes sir. Uh -huh. but when you talked about people walking the legs started shaking and the legs started shaking and that's it run run Any pain, turn and return back. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. Yes, please. Suppose you gave word of knowledge of petic ulcer. She has had it for five years. The pain is gone now healed by the power of God completely in the name of Jesus it never returns to you my dear God bless you in Jesus name let's celebrate that miracle yes please five years degenerative disc disease of the neck now Did she's here with her collar healed she lift it up neck. how long five years let us speak how long my dear I've had spinal pain for five years and I was recently diagnosed of degenerative disc disease of the cervical spine I couldn't move my neck when I came here. Move it now. Let the devil see you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's your collar. In the name of Jesus, this is permanent. Never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. There's an online testimony in there. Good evening, Koinonia. Apostle just mentioned my case. I've been lactating without ever being pregnant and having a baby. It's been causing me serious pain as I have no baby to take the meat and my breasts have been in God. God has healed me now. If I'm a Can you imagine? When, when you send the text, send your region or the place, the state, so that we'll know. In the name of Jesus, that healing is permanent. Let's have maybe one or two more so that we can attend to the prayer requests. Praise God. Yes, sir. Also, you give a prophetic word, a yes, word sir. of knowledge concerning this gentleman. Um, I was uh, at the back when daddy was saying that um, there is somebody that someone uh, lay his hand on him of a um, demonic spirit. So I am the one like everybody was rejecting me, but as of now, I am okay. Every, even as I was sitting, people still sit down. But where before, if I sit down, everybody would like be going away from me. But Re now I, I'm, I'm good. In Jesus' name, you are set free, eh? Amen. Let the favor of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. So, sir, he came in here, always has internal heat. Praise the Lord. 
I am Sunday by name. I want to bless the name of the Lord. While Daddy was making declaration, I came tonight with a severe pain at my back and also with internal heat all the time. But today, now I am healed and Completely. I give glory to Jesus. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Lord, um, when Daddy was speaking um, prophetically, I was having this serious neck pain, and I couldn't stretch my neck. Very Your long. neck, and right and now, now, right now I'm go ahead, totally check pain. yourself. Yes. No, yes. Pain. no pain. It will never return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. This is an online testimony from Kenya. I'm currently on admission in a hospital in Kenya. While watching this. When the service commenced, I got a bad attack from my leg shaking. Yes. To coughing, I was being monitored as the word from Apostle came about high BP. My BP suddenly stabilized. I'm not even ashamed to scream right in the hospital. Supernaturally, can you imagine? In the hospital and her BP just went down. Swollen leg healed. Swollen leg. How long? A week. And it's gone now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Abdominal pain, you gave the word of knowledge of someone at the basement. She's yes. healed now. Completely healed. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by block, the power of the Holy Spirit. Block air open. Which of them? This one, the right one. Your right one. How long? I woke up with the blocked air. Today? Yes. In the name of Jesus, we declare that opening remains permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, please. Stroke healed from 2018. He came here and he asked the mother to connect in the village. You have now, the photo there. Look at this. From where, my friend? From Imo State. Imo State. Yeah, I just called her when you were praying. And then after the prayer, I just called her back and she said she's feeling fine. She's healed. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we agree for Mama. The Lord will preserve her in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's have just one more from both of you so that we can... Apostle, we need to hear this. Yes, please. So, Mama is here with her son. And you can see she's... she's yes. Fine. So, please, Mama. What happened? Okay. Let her speak. She has been sick for a long period of time. Where Actually, are you coming from? We're, I'm coming from Joss, but we are from Nasara State. Okay. Yes. So, the thing started in our dreams. Then when I was still going, she, she... Can she speak? Yes. Tell her to speak, whether it's Hausa or whatever. You can interpret Pastor Jakes. So, Apostle, she said she had a dream, and in her dream, they actually give her meat to eat, and they put things in her throat. So, she kept seeing dead people you in see, her you dream. You see this kind of wicked, demonic thing, a woman of this age? I heard her saying they take her somewhere, yes, they sir. give her human meat or meat. something. Yes, sir, and her legs were swollen. And, and what happened she now? She walked in here with swollen legs, sir. She walked she in here with walk swollen legs. Let her walk. Then, sir, she also had a growth in her neck. Let her speak. Yes, sir. So she's saying her tongue was actually twisted. So she couldn't speak properly. Can you imagine? You, you, see, you see this very demonic thing? That's all right, Mama. Can you see? Ten years. Over ten years, this woman has been going through this oppression. Some of this, some of this traditional, hold on, let me just pass a comment over some of these traditional things. In as much as we know that the leaves are for the healing of the nations, it depends on what the leaves was dedicated to. Because some of these leaves that they carry people to, huh, is, is just a connection with the spirits of the dead. 
those who do some of these priesthood in the village they are sincere people but they do not even know the basis of that covenant so we need to be careful in as much as uh, the people say once things are bad they just say go down to the village you must be careful make sure that they do not go and bow to demons and dedicate things to spirits and if you have been part of that be released right now yeah. mama what huh? Mama Badamu, yes, you are coming to work as well. Walk, walk, walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This demonic situation demonic situation it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus and for her dear son we pray that God will show you mercy for you and mama in the name of Jesus you are healed you are strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray yes please go ahead destiny by name he was playing football last week and they fell on his hand got dislocated so he came trust. which of the hands destiny this one check it now any pain no pain look what the boy is doing in the name of Jesus it will never return to you again and you fulfill destiny in Jesus name let's celebrate him yes please several back pains back pains pain, all now, of them healed by the power of now God. for all of these conditions my apologies you can always register your testimony for next week in the name of Jesus stretch your hands towards them in one minute and declare perfection for their healings in the name of Jesus and for all those who have not been able to testify from around the world we receive your testimonies you can send them to our media people and we'll be sure to put it online or testify here if you give us the permission to in the name of Jesus Christ may this grace for healing return home with you in Jesus name I pray please be upstanding everybody let's stand on our feet stretch your hands towards these prayer requests and I want you to declare over them and um, when we're done praying I'm going to invite Bishop to just come and make one prophetic declaration over you and then I'll invite my dear friend Apostle Paul Amen to just make a declaration and then we'll do the altar call and wrap up but stretch your hands here and I want you to begin to pray so many thousands tens of thousands of requests here and across the globe is someone stretching your hands father in the name of Jesus let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now someone is praying let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now supernatural miracles by the spirit of the living god Make sure you are praying. I lay my hands upon this prophetically. Every situation that must give way, it gives way right now. There is a bomb in Gilead. We declare healing by the Spirit of the Living God. Father, visit families. For all those who are following online, all those who are viewing from across the globe, and for all those who are here in the name of Jesus I believe I believe Lord I believe Lord I believe I believe I believe The name of Jesus I bow my knees by the privilege of God's grace and I decree and declare that every issue of concern please listen carefully and shout a loud amen every issue of concern here represented it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now 
It comes to a permanent end now. It comes to a permanent end now. It comes to a permanent end now. And every long-standing issue by the power that raised Christ from the dead between now and the end of 2022 in the name of Jesus hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand I lay my hands upon this request and I ask that the anointing of the Spirit will saturate this prayer request and let there be a harvest of answers let there be a harvest of testimonies in the name of Jesus every issue here that is an emergency issue we are arrested by the power of the Holy Spirit every issue here that is caused directly by demon spirits by the mercy of God let there be deliverance now every issue here that needs the approval of systems and structures we declare may the mercy of God show up now and every issue here that needs the ministry of destiny help us we declare may God raise men to show up therefore I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ may i please invite his lordship bishop please come and apostle amen please come i'm going to give bishop the mic he's just going to speak words over your life i believe in taking advantage of the anointing here and i want you to receive as he speaks over your life, receive it, and then I will wrap up by declaring over your life. Yes, sir. Just whatever the Lord just puts, just it, to speak blessings over his people in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. I speak word of faith mm. concerning your life. Yes, Lord. And the work of your life lay your hands i pray grace that what you receive here mm. what you received here no eyes have seen amen no ears have heard amen. no is it perceived in the heart of me what god will continue to do in the name of Jesus Amen. as you turn around and start going back home God 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 will turn things around Amen in the name of Jesus! By the time you come back here for the next service, you will come rejoicing. I say you will come rejoicing! In the name of Jesus! The Lord bless you. I decree in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 35, 37, verse 25, the message translation. I was old, but young, but now I'm old. I have not seen an abandoned believer. Nor his children roam in the street begging for bread. I decree by this mantle on this altar, any situations that look abandoned. Now receive grace of faith. From today, nothing good dies in your hand again. I decree that your heavens of favor be open now. From today, let the ministry of angels.
angels influence men in your favor before this year is over let people sing your song let there be celebration in your house let doors you never knock be open for you let system walk in your favor let men be influenced in your favor in the name of jesus by the time you wake up tomorrow you are embracing miracles you are embracing miracles many of you here in the sound of my voice i joined my faith with the apostle before you get to receive phone calls of miracles receive text messages of miracles which your lord has said i receive instant answer in jesus mighty name Amen. God bless you, sirs. Let's honor them. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Still praying and speaking over your life. Prophetic words are very powerful. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every closed heaven over your life. I prophesy to you right now. This by the decree of the watchers. Let the heavens over you be opened now. I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st. Let no day end without you testifying. Let no day end without you testifying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for your walk with God. This is for me a priority in the life of every believer. I don't care what else works in your life. If your spiritual life, your prayer life, your walk with God is down, then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency. Therefore, I speak over your spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. 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 The grace for prayer and supplication, receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for a constructive study of the word, receive it in the name of Jesus. I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe. I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do. By the privilege of the help of God, upon my life and upon this ministry, receive favor now. Shout a loud amen. Receive favor now. I speak over systems and structures. I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life. Anyone here who has been, who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday, in the name of Jesus, let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. As responsible citizens, we pray for Nigeria. Anyone plotting evil, anyone plotting war, every conspiracy of dark powers, right now, we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist. We declare that now the Lord of peace by himself, he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, Concerning the preparation for the election, I don't belong to any party. I, you see me around with politicians, but I have, I'm a man of God. There's everybody in every party in this ministry. And fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody. I don't have any prejudices, no biases whatsoever. But one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. <laughs> Anybody across whether from counselors down till whatever burying animals killing children and draining their blood in the name of Jesus we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices 
But as for you, I prophesy upon you, you will not die. You will not be victims of kidnap. You will not be victims of accidents. Every ministry here represented, return back with fresh fire. Return back with fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all our international guests, I prophesy upon you, you return back with answers to your prayers. And in the name of Jesus, God will do mighty things with you. Hear me. Come December, when men say there is a casting down, when men are complaining, in the name of Jesus, may December be your greatest month in 2022. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know I've stretched you, but please listen. Hear me. God helps men, even financially. Stretch your hands towards me. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the help of God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who is able to help men, I pray over your finances. Between now and the end of this year, may my God, who is also your God, may He surprise you in a way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. I say it again. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. Some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say, God has sent me to help you. I declare over your life you will not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the sicknesses that fly around this nation, whether airborne, waterborne, realm of the spirit born, I cancel it from getting to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all your loved ones who are not here, but connected to you by faith, please hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, as God is touching you here, may he touch them there. My final prayer for you, before I make an altar call, please let your hearts be open. All round rest. Whatever that is to you, all round rest. All round rest. All round rest. Whether it means rest maritally, whether it means rest financially, whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness, whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest, I call upon my God to give you that rest. All round rest. And anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God arise and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Our time is up, but God is asking me to pray for people. I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus this one is by prophecy i don't care whether you do business or not i'm praying for you one week if i be called of god between now and the next one week may my god surprise you one week from now May my God surprise you. I say it again one week from now. May my God surprise you. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from Zion. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, no more tears. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. While standing, everyone, now I notice every time we're making the altar call, I know that there are people rushing so that they can get cars. There are, you know, um, tens of thousands of people. But may I request that, please, when we're making the altar call, as much as you can, 
if it's not an emergency please exercise patience for a minute and let's honor the people to come very quickly there are people here who need to make Jesus Lord of their lives and people who need to rededicate their lives to Jesus if you belong to any or all of these categories I'm going to count one to five Jesus said you must be born again there are people who need Jesus as a matter of life and death listen to me you can receive a miracle and you still go to hell you can receive a miracle and if you do not make your ways right with God your life can go haywire in a moment the greatest healing and the greatest deliverance is an encounter with Jesus whether you're in the main auditorium or for those who are outside those who are in all the other auditoriums and then for those who are connecting by way of the internet I count one to five I want you to leave your seat very quickly very boldly and come and stand before Jesus one koinonia let's celebrate them let's celebrate them come two you're running to Jesus the captain of your salvation the one who is able to help you don't let the devil lie to you and say there is no salvation for you the Bible says there is hope for a tree come three young and old rich poor male female exposed in exposed make your way to the altar if you need Jesus Four. let's celebrate them as they come Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Thank you very much for making this bold decision. If you're still joining them, come very quickly. Let me request for those of you who are in front, God bless you. Lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. You are doing this unto Jesus. Say this after me. Please, if you're joining them, join quickly. If you come at the end of the prayer, you are not saved. It's important that you participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. If you're coming, run very quickly. I'm seeing a gentleman running. God bless you. Come. Come. We are a very pro-salvation ministry. Hallelujah. It matters to us and it matters to Jesus that we take the salvation of men seriously. Thank you. Now lift your hands. Please say this after me. Let it be um, from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I declare that I believe in you. I declare that I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I declare that Jesus is my Savior, Jesus is my Lord, and Jesus is my King. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. And right now, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm saved. I'm born again I receive of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and I declare that I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I'm going to pray for you the power of God is coming on one of you I just saw this in a vision the anointing of the Spirit just resting on one of you and the Lord is saying to you I'm praying for you that he's opening a new season for you it will not be like before again so the anointing of the spirit is one of you this is what i just saw in my vision i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit may the anointing of the holy spirit rest upon you the power to live above sin satan hell and the grave i decree and declare in the name that is above all names you are set free right now in the name of jesus you will go from glory to glory and then you will go from grace to grace in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will show you mercy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I call you born again I declare that you are bona fide recipients of the life of God you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray my dear when are you due January lay your hands
on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. There will be no complication. I saw serious complication around childbirth. I rebuke it right now. I correct everything that needs to be corrected and you will deliver like the Hebrew women. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Congratulations. Let me request that you follow the counselors. They are waving the placard at you. Let's celebrate them as they go. They will have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seats. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Give them a big God bless you. Big God bless you. Give them a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.